Pisces, welcome. Doing the heart spread read. This is for mid December time frame here. Um, eight card spread. Looking at the one on your mind and the one in your heart. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. The bell tolls for thee. Hemingway. For whom the bell tolls. <laughs> we well, use the classic. Hemingway. Everybody's like thought he was a macho guy, but kind of a softy, kind of a romantic, really. But yeah, maybe a rogue. I don't know. But it's nice. I like the bells when they're pleasant. There's church bells that go off kind of frequently, but they're just far enough away that as they trip in, to me it's very romantic. I like it. All right, so we're about ready to go. Pisces putting a little energy on. It's the last reading of a very hard week here. It's also the weekend, uh, 10th to the 12th. Okay, Nine of Wands. This is you showing up in and around relationships where your mind is at and where your heart is at, Pisces. Um, you know, a lot of times when I see that here, it's like you, you've been through a lot, right? I got to be saying, it's been a rough week. Maybe a rough nine years, like that, you know? Um, there's your um, North Node transit there um go back to 10 years pattern and being kind of tired it's tough energy to be in a relationship with you know um, like you're, you're not done you're the wounded warrior you're taking a minute and you're going to get up so you want this next one to be the right one but it's kind of hard and you've got so much behind you and your person's coming in with a page of swords here pisces Interesting, because I was going to say, Nine of Wands is not someone to really looking for a relationship. If you're in a relationship, you might be looking for a hand up or a hug, for sure. Um, but here's your person. Um, they're kind of facing away from the reading here, this page of swords. Air sign, you know, Gemini. Most likely Libra Aquarius, but feels like Gemini energy to me. Um, and that's someone maybe they're this is because they're on your mind so it's someone you've been communicating with you know, maybe it's long distance you know just because they're coming in as a page maybe they're not really younger maybe it's similar but maybe they're just like it's a little thing but they got your attention maybe it's nothing romantic yet look at the blue in this card like if you send a blue heart to someone it's like you know it's too soon to send a red heart but they're in like the blue heart stage um, here, let's see how you're feeling about them. Wow, you're like thinking marriage here, guys. When I see this. This is a card of where you're at towards them, how you're feeling towards them. It's uh, about the marriage thing. I think there is, too, going to be an element where maybe you're feeling like you're more stable, more mature. Certainly would be someone saying, well, I certainly have more life experience. You know, I may I failed a lot, you know, and learned a lot from that. You know, we're, we're our, Definitely, I could be projecting because there's my story, you know. Learning through failure, Sagittarius specialty. Knight of Wands. And this knight, again, though, a bit of loot. Again, kind of feigning away from the relationship. But that's sexual passion. That's Mars sexual energy. Uh, bringing a lot of passion. So you're showing up to them with this kind of this hierarchical energy of the Hierophant here. Um, very uh, mature. Um, and they already look like someone that's immature, guys. And then they're showing up to you, not only as a Knight of Wands, kind of like going to be the player card in this position, when this is how they're, they're feeling about you. Well, now it's not unusual to feel that way about you. I'm sure you're damn sexy. Um, but it's just, uh, let me uh, see what Spirit's advising you. Five of Cups, so that's advice for you in terms of this relationship. And a Five of Cups, um, well, you can see, it's being emotionally down. Um, and it's coming under the hair font. Um, I think it's kind of saying as advice that if you're really thinking of this person as a marriage potential or as the one, it's like you're, that's, that is going to come to grief. I hate to say it, but I think that's what that's dealing with. And this, and for your person here and how they're thinking about you, Aquarius card. Well, now we got something, maybe they've got Aquarius energy with them, and it's air. I um, mean, you know, oh, the high priestess, so I'm sorry, so that's Pisces energy. So that still could be Aquarius, I mean, they got Pisces as well, Aquarius sun, um, Pisces moon. And as advice from spirit, you know, it's kind of like, um, I'm thinking with the high priestess, that's also our conscience, you know, the part of us that should know better, 
that's the wisest part. I mean, the emperor takes advice from the high priestess, right? The kings and queens are advised by the high priestess and by the hierophant. Uh, you, actually, here is kind of the energy you're bringing to them, by the way. This is the hierophant's more of the nuts and bolts of uh, the church. is like the Pope on Earth, so it's like uh, Taurus, Venus, I always see it. Um, which you may have as a Pisces. Uh, but this person here um, is coming at you with a different energy. Um, and they're being advised to realize that, you know, it's not a game. This is, uh, you're playing like for keeps, like there's uh, life involved, energies involved. And that they need to start kind of looking at things through the eye of their higher self. It might be asking a lot from this person. I don't know, they look like they could be really quite a bit younger. And this is the uh, advice from Spirit here about the relationship as a whole putting it all together for the two of you and it's emotional uncertainty and I think it's kind of straightforward it's emotional uncertainty because you've been through a lot uh, maybe you had a lot riding on this knight of wands you get the knight of wands they come over and approach you with the uh, a knight of wands you've got the nine of wands so that's a ten of wands you know it's like almost like you hurrying towards some destiny uh, but maybe thinking of it as something really special so far I don't see that with this person this doesn't imply that you know, with the Seven of Cups, you know, um, it's saying basically that this is the core, the foundation, the crux of the heart spread here, and it's just showing that, you know, you don't have something solid there, it's emotionally wishy-washy, you know, the high priestess's advice, it's not clear whether your person can take it, ergo free will, you always got that voice, oh, it doesn't, it means there's no free will if astrology is true, well, no, um, that's where free will comes in. And then the Three of Wands, you know, you're looking again. It's as simple as that, guys. Um, I'm trying to think of advice with this. It, it doesn't seem like that strong of a relationship, or I'm sorry, put it that way. I don't get to feel like this is karmic uh, stuff going on here. I think this is more about you kind of, uh, you know, uh, you didn't really quite take your finish your process, you know, with the Nine of Wands. And like you took another shot. And I think I'm, basically I've been there. Maybe you just come up short again. This person just disappointed you, you know. Um, and just came on to you with a flash. Flash in the pan, really. And here you are looking for your ships to come in in the future. So the main thing to consider out of this is what you learn out of this. It's only going to be something about yourself. I can tell you that right now. Pisces is going to have nothing to do with this person over here. Um, they're purely a mirror. Uh, Three of Pentacles is on the bottom, I should mention. I do kind of count that lightly, um, along with the Three of Wands. Um, you're going to be putting some work into your search, you know, what that works out to. Three of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, a good worker card. And uh, so, yeah. And uh, so maybe what happens from this is you learn something. Maybe what you learn here is kind of, finally, after maybe ten times, you really learn, this is what I don't want, you know, or even better, this is what I want. So thank you guys.